Okay, so in my last video, I did the, a showcase of Ubuntu Unity running on the Pi, and I showed you guys how that looked and what it was like. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll put the link down in the description. And this is what it looks like, basically. It's a really good-looking operating system, but it's still in beta for the Pi. So I'm going to show you guys how you can install this on your Raspberry Pi 4, or it does work for the Raspberry Pi 3. So you're going to go to this link I give you down here, or you can just go to download. And you're going to see all these different sources. And I first was like, why can't I download it? I tried Torrent, I tried Mega, I tried Mediafire, but I couldn't find it. And then I, then I found Dark Penguin, and it's right here in Raspberry Pi. So to download Ubuntu Unity for the Raspberry Pi, as of now, this is just when the video was out. It might be uploaded to this later. But there's only Dark Penguin available. So you go over to Dark Penguin, go to Raspberry Pi, go to 20.0.4 Alpha 1, and download the image.tar.gz. And you're just going to click Save, and you're going to download that. And after it's done downloading, you cannot flash this without extracting it. So keep that in mind. You're going to see this um, image.tar, and you're going to just right click, and you're going to go Extract here. And when you're done extracting, you'll have this image file here and you're going to open up etcher and you're going to go flash from file you're going to find that image ubuntu unity and you're going to select the target select your sd card i'm going with a 63 gigabyte sd card but as you see the image is only six gigabytes so this could be installed on uh 8 gigabyte one but you wouldn't have much room so I would recommend a 16 gigabyte for the least then go flash click yes when you get prompted and now you just have to wait for it to be done okay so it's done installing now it says flash complete but an important thing that you need to you need to know before booting this up you need to manually expand the partition so you cannot do this without doing that first so to do this if you have a linux computer just plug into your linux computer and use gparted if you don't you can use the operating system on your raspberry pi such as raspberry pi os ubuntu manjaro all of those ones you can install gparted so those will work so don't worry if you don't have a linux computer just use your raspberry pi i'm going to be using my raspberry pi too so i'll show you what you need to do next okay so i booted up my pi and this is Ubuntu 64-bit, and I'm running this from a USB stick, so actually I do not need an SD card adapter. I'm just going to take my SD card, and I'm going to plug it in the SD card place on my Raspberry Pi, where you normally put the SD card in. So I just plug it in there. And now we need to install Gparted to be able to edit the partitions. So you're going to open up your terminal. And what you're going to type is sudo apt install. You need a space there. Gparted. You're going to hit that, press enter, and mine's already installed. That's why it says it's already installed. But if it wasn't, you're just going to hit Y and enter, and it would install for you. So now that it's, so now that it's installed, I'm just going to go over to my app launcher. Yours doesn't isn't going to look like this probably. And the same command will, will work on Raspberry Pi OS too. So you don't have to worry about that. So I just hit Gparted right here. You have to type in your password of course. Oh, typed it wrong. And Gparted is going to launch for us. And it's going to find all the partitions. And right here, it automatically shows your SD card that was plugged in. So you see it has all this unallocated space. And we don't want that because we won't be able to use all of our space. And there's no space left. So you're going to click on this yellow part right here. Just click on this. Right click on it. Go to Resize Move. Click on that. Take this. Pull it all the way to the end. Hit Resize Move. And hit this tick mark right here. If you don't hit that, it won't work. Hit that. Click apply. And now it's going to grow the partition. So when we boot this up for the first time, we'll be able to use all of the space of our SD card. All 60 gigabytes of it. 
and it does it that fast. Look how fast it's done. So now it's done. I can click close. And now look at as you see, it's using all of my SD card. So I'm gonna take this out of my Pi right now. I mean, I'm gonna leave it in my Pi, take out my USB stick, and boot into Ubuntu Unity for the installation. Okay, so I'm on first boot right now, and you're gonna see this Ubuntu screen. Hit Escape twice. And now you get the Ubuntu Unity login screen. So now every time when you log in, you'll get the Unity login instead of the Ubuntu. That's just a tip they say to do on their website, and I applied it, and it, it's better this way in my opinion. So we get to actually see that this is Ubuntu Unity instead of Ubuntu. So this first login, of course, takes a while, and then we're going to have to install our system. So I'm just waiting right now for this to get past this first step. And here we are. We get this a nice background picture. And our mouse is up here. And as you see, our mouse is loading. So that means that something is happening right now. And here we are. We get this. It looks like a desktop, but... It's actually going to be an installation script that we're going to have to go through and do. So it's kind of like if you if you were installing this on a computer, it's that kind of setup. So this is English. I want English. And I do want the English US keyboard. That's all correct. And if you weren't sure, you could always test it out right there. And where am I? So you're just going to pick a location. This actually isn't where I am, but it doesn't matter to me really because I don't use the time really. And you're just going to have to put in all your names and stuff like that. So I'm just going to put all of my information and then I'll be installing. And I'm going to go continue. And it's going to start installing the system for us. If you want to see what it's doing, you can just click there. And this takes about, I would say, 10 to 15 minutes. You're just going to have to wait for this to... Or it could be more like 5 to 10. I don't know. But just be patient and wait for this to be done. Okay, so my installation finished. And it rebooted and it went to the login screen. So now I'm just going to type in that password that I created earlier. And hopefully I'll be in the Ubuntu Unity desktop running on my Raspberry Pi 4. So, like I said, the first boot is always slower. It's always going to be slow on the first time. That's just normal. It can be expected. Because your system is just getting set up. So it comes up at first with all these keyboard shortcuts. So you, it might be smart for you guys to like take a screenshot or whatever so you can remember these. So, and then what we have here, I already did the overview of this operating system, but just to show you guys that it is pretty, it does work. And yeah, like we have our terminal right here. And if I just want to update my system, just do sudo apt update and it goes straight away and starts updating for me and there's three packages that can be upgraded it says so let's just go ahead and do that and it's really nice and fast doesn't take much time and like I said the i386 environment so I tried getting this to work personally I didn't get it working that just might be me but um, what i386 is you'll you would be able to run 32-bit Linux apps in this systems 
32-bit, not ARM apps, 32-bit x86 apps. So that's very useful. You could run some. It's kind of like a like a box 86 type of thing, but it's already installed. So it's a nice little thing. I hope to get it working soon so I can make a video about it and just to see how it performs. Yeah, so overall this is a nice operating system for the Pi and I can't wait till it gets out out of beta and till it's fully supported on the Raspberry Pi. So if this video is helpful for you guys, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe.